H. Hernandez. Next. Yeah. Oh. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, Nance, <laughs> and thank you for having me here. It's an honor to be part of this exhibition as well. And, um, and yeah, I have the opportunity to present a series of works that they are related to the, uh, the mural um, approach that I have in my uh, artwork, along with the small pieces. Um, in a way, what I try to do is to convey um, images or um, elements that reflects uh, social change and internal changes as well, or personal changes. So I start with this uh, image that is related to the earthquake in Mexico City that happens in 1985. I was there and I witnessed the second earthquake that was the replica the following day after the big one. So I see the collapse of buildings and people in panic, screaming, and trying to um, uh, run for their lives. Uh, it was um, a very uh, intense experience for me, in which I uh, put it in, in terms of um, a dimension of um, changes uh, of individuals and, and collectivities as well. So um, if we don't change, so Mother Nature is going to take care of that. So because uh, Either way, we change or, or they, they make us change. So this is um, a series of um, hearts that I did. And what I try to uh, reflect in this image is, um, or this sculptural piece in ceramics, is um, the elements of the heart as an internal uh, part of our um, lives that is related to love. But sometimes this heart is armor or this kind of like a mechanical or industrialized um, uh, aspect um, that uh, uh, reflects in one way or another and um, the concerns that we have and the fears that we have and then how we ended up being encapsulated on the industrial world uh, and the sake of safety. But, it's, but anyway, we, we have to change at one point. So um, another series of hearts that I did, pretty much I addressed that issue as well. So uh, uh, it's, there's a series of hearts as well. So in this piece that I have here is um, um, a drawing that I did for this sketch uh, uh, for the mural that is on display at Oregon State University. The title of this work is uh, Our Universe, Our University. And what I try to reflect on that is um, the diversity that we have in our society in the context here of the society that we have in the, in the United States. Uh, at the same time that we have elements from the mother culture of this land that they are related to native cultures, um, Native American cultures, and also other cultures from other parts of the world that they've been contributing to the uh, rich uh, cultural life and vibrant life of the United States. We have these elements that um, um, are related to, uh, in a symbolic way, to this uh, door that is open, and we have this flow of, of immigrants coming. Um, first, these immigrants are re depicted as cacti uh, because they have to en uh, endure, you know, very harsh conditions uh, in their journey, and then this. Um, um, cacti becomes uh, immigrants that they ended up heading towards a better future. So basically that we have here at the, at the horizon. Uh, we have here the mother culture represented in this um, old lady that has opened the arms um, in a welcome um, attitude. And also we have, on the other hand, you know, the, mother, the, the new modern culture of the United States that is a mixed blood uh, person that is the process of the mixing of the different races 
that is taking here also place in the United States. And so we have elements here of the society, the contemporary society, you know, the colonization process along with the conquest. So for some groups of some nations as well, uh, but that is the result of what our society is, uh, has going through. You know, and, um, but in the hope that at the end we will have a better future. And again, this also um, mural is related to change. So how we can make that change through education. So that's why these people, some, some of these people are pursuing education. This building is uh, the, um, representing the Oregon State University building. And when some of the migrants are pursuing that education and reflects you know, the desire of um, this internal change we are not able to change if we don't educate ourselves, we don't pursue education, and that is the most important aspect that we can do, is through education and our change uh, that we have to go through. So at the top we have the Hail Bob comet that passed through when I was painting that, I went, and, and also when I was doing this sketch, and this um, Hail Bob at the beginning was, you know, coming to the solar system, I did that, this project was done, when the Hillbot went around the solar, uh, the sun, uh, the, the sun, and going back to the outer space. So I put it that because you know the comets are messengers of um, of um, news or sometimes have omens. But in this case, what I like to say is this is a good omen because the sun is the new sun, the new era, and this is the dawn of a new era that we are experiencing. So this is my hope. So if we change in that way, in a positive way, yeah, we will have a better society. If we don't change and we don't educate ourselves, uh, we, we don't expect that we will have a, a better, uh, bright future either. So um, going back to the small format, so I did this series of uh, prints in which I was you know, puzzled about this um, writing system from the Mayas that Recently, well, historically, they've been able to decipher and they are coming now with, you know, the, the messages or the information that uh, this grading system is uh, containing. And what we have here is how this grading system is depicting the same kind of problems. So I substitute some of the elements here or some of the um, sections of the grading system with contemporary image of the Maya people and how the Jaguar and Dark Forces are threatening this and the news here uh, representing, you know, the, the information um, um, uh, format that we have now in the newspapers. So, so here I have this combination of and um, also syncretism process that we are experiencing. So we don't know until the few years in the future or or 100 years in the future on this, how this syncretism is taking place. But for now, I'm playing with, you know, combining these images and these symbols from uh, the Oriental Dragon and the Mayan symbols of, um, that uh, mimics a little bit this kind of image of a dragon as well. And so these powerful religious images or mythological images, I rather say, that they are um, present in the life of the the, in Mesoamerica as well in, um, in uh, the Oriental culture. So in the same way that I was approaching this on um, print and in Taljo, I decided to go and experiment with this technique because I've been working with ceramics. So I decided to do this on um, carving uh, different tiles and then fire them with different glazes with the same kind of approach, so adding a little bit more of elements. Um, but basically, this is the same content that I'm playing with, so uh, that, in other words, is the mixing of the different cultures uh, from around the world, you know, from distant places. So this other piece that I have here is, again, a series of hearts. Basically, this is the last piece that I did of this series of hearts. And this is uh, the title of this is from the bottom of my heart. So this is a homage to a famous Mexican singer that passed away. And um, 
and for that I try to you know bring this um, musical notes and music coming out of the heart um, and again so uh, the heart I'm using this as an, an iconographical element uh, with some kind of religious approach but not necessarily you know um, um, like a, um, orthodox religious uh, elements but uh, more like a appealing to the spirituality of the element so yeah and basically these are the words that I have and also have an, another couple more works but uh, yeah so so you're welcome to to visit us too thank you so much Hector